Uh, in recent years, machine learning has become ubiquitous, and it's easy now for software engineers to include predictive algorithms in their projects. But what about statistics? Is it really important to understand statistical concepts? I spoke recently with Andrew Bruce, who knows well both the statistical and machine learning communities. He's a data scientist by profession, currently with Amazon, and previously with Zillow. He's also a PhD statistician who studied with John Tukey as an undergraduate and worked on the development of S+, the commercial predecessor to R. Uh, talk a little bit about the difference between machine learning and statistics. Well, both machine learning and statistics are concerned with uh, the problem of prediction. Um, the difference is machine learning tends to use black box techniques, and, while statistics tend to emphasize understanding how a predictive modeling system would work. And why does that make a difference, or how would that make a difference? Well, in two ways. Um, in in if you have an understanding of the system, first of all, it's easier to explain your prediction model to management and, and business folks who understand the physical world and would like to understand why the model's doing what it's doing. The other thing is it actually can lead you into improvements in the underlying processes because it, it, it reveals what is holding back or improving productivity, for example. And are there uh, certain types of problems that you think would be particularly suited for machine learning black box techniques as opposed to uh, more statistically oriented techniques? Yeah, so the, the, the biggest success for the black box techniques has been, to, has been in um, what I would call high signal to noise ratio problems. That's, in other words, you have a very clear signal. You see that a lot in speech processing, image processing, video processing. You get, often get tons of data and the, the signal is actually pretty clean. The data is clean. On the other hand, in a lot of marketing type problems and in general measurement type problems, the data can be very noisy. And those types of problems, understanding is more, where, where which I call low signal to noise ratio, understanding is more important and can contribute much more than a black box technique. 